Hey, did you know that some people are completely impervious to pain? Ow, that's tender. Mm. Okay, clearly I'm not one of those people, but some people in this world have genetic mutations that give them abilities that make them superhuman that the rest of us kind of wish we had. Hmm? Here are 10 genetic mutations that make people superhuman. Number 10 are unbreakable bones. As it turns out, that movie Unbreakable starring Bruce Willis isn't just a sci-fi fairy tale. It's a real thing for some people. The superhuman condition is called sclerosteosis. It's caused by a missing protein that controls how thick bones are because of a genetic mutation in the LRP5 gene. It was only recently discovered in the year 2000 after doctors compared notes on two American men who had super strong bones. The first man was unharmed after a car accident due to his bones being eight times stronger than the average adult. The second man kept having failed hip replacements because his bones were too strong to drill into. These guys are like walking diamonds. As of today, there's still no cure for sclerosteosis, which can cause pressure on the cranial nerves and brain and lead to permanent hearing loss. Many people want to study the gene looking for a way to cure it, but so far they've been unsuccessful. Anybody who has this should go immediately into boxing because you'll be the heavyweight champ. I didn't even feel that. You want to pun fifth again? Come on, I'll eat your family. Number nine are super tasters. Nearly a quarter of the population have super sensitive taste buds, meaning that they taste food to the extreme. Now this would be great for some sweet and savory foods, but not so great for bitter things like sprouts, coffee, or even beer. The tongue has a bunch of taste and touch receptors, and it's believed that a genetic mutation in the TASR38 receptor gene, which detects bitterness, may be the reason behind the super tasting abilities. The receptors also line the sinuses and nasal cavity, which led researchers to find links between having super tasters and having a stronger immunity to fight off bugs. Because the receptors are heightened, they can detect and fight off bacteria and potential infections earlier than the rest of us. But unfortunately, the gene goes the other way too, and about a quarter of people can barely taste anything at all. None of this applies to the percentage of the population that as a child shoved Kraft Dinner macaroni up their nose and permanently damaged their smell. Those are special cases. Number eight are super lungs. At four kilometers above sea level, there is 40% less oxygen, which can be fatal to mountain climbers. But Tibetans have lived at these altitudes for thousands of years. Their bodies have adapted thanks to a mutation in the EPAS1 gene. See, normally the gene creates more red blood cells when there's less oxygen, but in Tibetans, it creates fewer, which allows their lungs to function in thinner air. The effects of the mutation are even crazier in the Kalenjin people of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, which is about two kilometers above sea level. Instead of underproducing red blood cells, their bodies overproduce them, so they metabolize oxygen faster. At sea level, their endurance levels are incredible and consistently earn runners like Wilson Kipsang the top spots in major marathons in Olympic long distance races. Well then I must have been born below sea level cause I got <gasps> no stamina. Number seven is super strength. For some people, being strong isn't from working out, but could be caused by a mutation that lets their muscles keep growing. Muscle cells normally release the proteins myostatin and activin A to regulate how big muscles grow. But for people born with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy, this doesn't happen. The condition causes muscle tissue to overgrow, leading to reduced body fat and way more muscle mass, bulk, and strength. And all of it without dangerous steroids or extreme weightlifting. Well, good for those people. It must be nice to eat whatever you want because I would turn into a cow. Those with the condition don't seem to have any negative side effects, but it could be dangerous for babies and toddlers who need body fat to help with the development of the brain and central nervous system. Researchers are currently studying the condition for new treatments for muscular dystrophy and osteoporosis. I just pictured a little baby being like, mama, give me my juice. Mama, mama. Number six is tetrachromacy. 
Most humans only have three types of receptors in their retinas to process color, each responding to a different hue, red, green, or blue. But some people have four receptors, a condition called tetrachromacy, which allows them to see 100 million different colors, 100 times more than the average person. Some animals like goldfish and mantis shrimp are tetrachromatic. In humans, it's believed to be more common in women because the genes responsible for the extra cone needs two X chromosomes, and men only have one. This could also explain why more men are colorblind. In 2012, the California-based Australian artist, Concetta Antico, was confirmed by researchers to have the condition. She's using her art to show all the colors she sees, like blue, gold, and even pink in mowed grass. Yeah, that all sounds cool and whatnot, but I would not want to walk outside and see like purple grass. I feel like I would just have a freak out. Number five is Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome affects the body's connective tissue. A mutation in the gene that helps make tissue protein fibrillin-1 causes an increase of the transforming growth factor beta protein. People with this condition have incredibly flexible joints and are usually tall and thin with especially long arms, fingers, and toes. Kinda like Slenderman. <laughs> Approximately 1 in 5,000 people have Marfan syndrome, with three quarters inheriting it from a parent. Spanish actor Javier Botet has made his career out of his super flexibility. At 1.88 meters and only 54.4 kilograms, his flexibility has landed him roles as some of the scariest creatures in movies, like Crimson Peak and Mama. Unfortunately, symptoms can get much worse over time, and since connective tissue is throughout the body, it can lead to scoliosis, heart valve prolapse, and eye problems. So it sounds cool to be able to do all this until your eyeball pops out of your face. Number four is fish odor syndrome. People with trimethylaminuria, more commonly known as fish odor syndrome, suffer from having body odor that can smell like rotting fish feces or garbage. Oh god guys, here comes John aka fish garbage. It tends to be more common in women and is caused by a mutation in the FMO3 gene that's responsible for breaking down nitrogen compounds in food. The mutation causes a malfunction in breaking down the super smelly trimethylamine compound that's caused by intestine bacteria when digesting foods like eggs, liver, fish, and legumes. Instead of becoming an odorless molecule, the compound builds up in the gut and ends up being released through breath, sweat, and urine. The only treatment for it is literally just avoiding foods with lots of trimethylamine in it and taking vitamin B2 to help boost FMO3 activity. Water and bread, just water and bread for them, or stay single for the rest of your life. Number three is tree man illness. Tree man illness, formerly known as epidermodysplasia verrucaformis, is a genetic condition that can lead to a skin disorder caused by a mutation in the EVER1 and EVER2 genes. It makes sufferers more prone to skin tumors and infections caused by HPV, which turn into wart-like lesions that become thick and look like tree branches. Most often on the hands and feet, they make it almost impossible to do simple things. There's no cure, but doctors have tried different methods to treat them. In 2008, Didi Kaswara from Indonesia had 95% of his warts removed from his hands, feet, and face. But the warts came back and he died from complications in January of 2016. However, in 2017, after 16 surgeries, Abul Bajandar from Bangladesh became the first to have all of his warts weighing five kilograms successfully removed. Okay, this one isn't exactly a superpower, but I just thought it'd be cool to be able to walk around looking like a tree ant from Lord of the Rings, or one of the stone men from Game of Thrones. But I guess not, I do feel bad for these people. God bless you. Number two is congenital analgesia. Nearly 1 million people have congenital insensitivity to pain or congenital analgesia. It's a mutation of different genes like SCN9A which control the transmission of signals to the nerves. In 2015, researchers discovered the PRDM12 gene which could be the key to understanding why the nerve cells aren't forming properly. It's believed that a mutation in both parents who don't have any symptoms have passed it to their 
their child and turns their pain sensors off. Well, this all sounds well and good. I could just grab a hot stove and it wouldn't hurt me at all. Well, that all sounds well and good, but the truth is injuries and early death tend to be high since sufferers have no internal warning signs that they're in danger. Here's an example. As a baby, Stephen Pete from Washington State chewed off part of his tongue while teething and as an adult has gone days without realizing he had broken bones. He's taken part in pharmaceutical studies looking to create better pain treatments and medications. So before you go wanting to be a Bond supervillain that can't feel nothing, remember that it could definitely lead to your death. And number one is werewolf syndrome. Who hasn't wanted to be a werewolf? Oh! Congenital hypertrichosis is a rare genetic disorder which causes excessive hair growth all over the body, including the face and eyelids, that's thicker and longer than normal. It's caused by a mutation in a section of the X chromosome. Researchers believe that because the mutation is near the SOX3 gene, which is linked to hair growth, it's causing the gene to kick hair production into high gear. Jesus Acebs from Loreto, Mexico was known as the Wolfman and started traveling in the circus when he was only 13. He's one of 30 members of his family over five generations that all have the condition. And it has not been fun. His family has had pets killed and have been shunned by locals who think that they're satanic beasts. As of today, there's no cure for the condition, but research is being done to see if it could unlock a cure for baldness. Well, let's hope that goes well. So that was 10 genetic mutations that made people superhuman. If you guys enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.